what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 14. And I just realized that we're more than halfway through Vlogmas and I'm just really proud of myself. And I know, I feel like I keep saying this in every vlog. I feel like every other year, I either did like combined vlogs because I just like didn't have enough content in one day, which is like totally fine. No hate on that because I did it. And obviously I was thinking about doing it this year, but I just really, really wanted to try to push myself this year and challenge myself to do everyday content and I am surprisingly doing it. <laughs> Today's Monday, so I'm obviously working. It's 2 p.m. and that is why I started late because I've been literally just working from my bed. If you guys didn't know, I'm back in Georgia, so I originally live in Austin, Texas currently, um, but I was raised in Georgia, Roswell, Georgia, and now my dad lives in Alpharetta, so this isn't my childhood at home or anything, so I'm staying in one of the guest rooms and I don't have a desk and I could work in the basement, but I just like didn't want to bring all my stuff down there today So I'll probably do that tomorrow because I just like should not work from my bed I literally just felt like complete shit about myself this morning um, Even though I like was pretty productive like I was actually watching some Skillshare classes about manifesting While I was just like doing my work, but other than that like just being in your bed It just does not feel like you're being productive even though you are so i wanted to like set up something in the other room because i have a call at 2 30 and i don't have like a desk in this room but i'll show you guys what i did in this other room over here is a nightstand and this little bench was actually in front of the bed but i just pushed it so i can like sit right there and have my work calls and me not have work calls from my bed because I feel like that just looks a little bit unprofessional and I did it last week and I like regretted it instantly once I was like on the video camera so I just decided to like throw this together and I'll just like come here every time I have a work call um today I have two I have a meeting with I think the Mark Atlanta if you guys didn't know I'm like in student housing and I'm a content creator so I'm gonna have a call with them since I'm home in Georgia I just thought I would like offer them like photography and videography services so I'm gonna see what they need and then I have a one-on-one -on -one with my boss where we go over just like things that I have to get done this week slash things that I did last week and just any overall updates so today I put on a little bit of makeup I didn't do like the whole full glam routine but honestly it was like a fast makeup routine and it kind of looks the same so I might do this from now on I actually used a makeup stick instead of like my foundation um, I just find that's a lot faster sometimes I'm gonna go get back to work get ready for these calls and I'll talk to you guys later hello it is 324 and that first call didn't happen I guess the girl couldn't make it so it didn't happen so I'm back in my bed six minutes till my next call just ate all these Hershey kisses and yeah, just waiting for my next call. I really don't want to sit on the desk. This is with my boss and I don't really need to be too professional with it. I honestly just wanted to sit on a desk for like the other meeting. Today's Vlogmas, I am gonna tell you guys what I asked Ryan for for Christmas um, because my parents and I don't really do Christmas like we used to. Me and my sister just get money from our parents and it just kind of started like that because I think we like traveled um, during the holidays because obviously you would have like two weeks off from school when you were younger. So my dad took advantage and like always took us traveling. And so we wouldn't have like the normal Christmas with like the gifts and stuff. So he would just give us money to like shop wherever we were going or just like at home. So that's kind of just like been the thing. This year they did ask me what I wanted for Christmas, but I just could not think of anything. And it was so hard to even think of things for Ryan to get me. So I was just like, honestly, like I'd rather just get the money so that I could like get random little things because there's so many just little things that I would like on Amazon, like for example, like fridge organizers. And I don't wanna open gifts here and like have to like ship them back or like bring them back with me because I already have so much shit that I have to ship back. So yeah, I think money is just probably the best option. And honestly, even for the gifts that Ryan's gonna get me, I asked him to just like ship it back to Austin, like majority of the things. Um, some of them are really little. I'm about to get on my call, so I'll tell you guys my whole list in a little bit. It's 4.02 p.m. I just clocked out of work. I get off of work at 4 p.m in atlanta time oh i'm tired it is time to tell you guys what i asked my boyfriend for for christmas um and it's just like such random little things let's start off with boot socks <laughs> i recently bought doc martens and 
I cannot wear regular socks because if you watch my vlog from yesterday, you would know that I had a situation <laughs> where just like my f socks fell off and like they're just not very comfortable in the Doc Martens. So I want boot socks to actually stay up and I want like nice ones, but these are just from Amazon. They look nice enough. So I think they'll be fine. The next thing I want is this whipped cream and pear candle from Anthropology. My dad had this candle burning downstairs and I walked in and the whole house smelled amazing. Like it's nothing like sugar cookies, like too fake. It's just really like a beautiful sweet smell. When I get back home, I really wanna do this like organization in the kitchen especially and so a couple of things are for that so first i want like this berry saver i think it's only six dollars let's see what it looks like because i kind of forgot it apparently makes your berries last a lot longer and i find that whenever i buy berries i, I don't eat them in like two days and then they're just so moldy and i've tried those like pieces of paper that you stick in the carton to make them last longer and it kind of just gave them a little weird smell and I don't think it like really worked. No, it actually did work. It definitely made them last a lot longer, but I don't know. I didn't really like that there was like a paper near my berries. So I thought I would just try this out and it's super freaking cheap. So I'll probably actually end up buying more of those just for a couple of berries. Um, but I just want to try it out first. And then um, going along with fridge organization, I have been wanting these like flour and sugar uh, cans, jars, um, and they have a bamboo lid. They're so cute and the flour and sugar thing I use just like it it's annoying to like scoop out so I wanted these because they just are cute very aesthetic and just look easy to like get the shit out of so next I have another kitchen thing so I bought myself a KitchenAid mixer during quarantine and this was like a thing that I always said like I'm gonna ask for it for my wedding registry but like, I don't know when that's gonna happen. I don't know when I'm gonna get married. And I didn't wanna wait that long to get a damn KitchenAid mixer, so I bought myself one. And I want this clear KitchenAid bowl. Um, I have, I think my bowl's white. No, I think it's definitely the tin one. <laughs> um, but the white ones are really, really cute with like the dotted texture. But I was thinking for like videos and stuff, I would like it to be clear so you can like see in the bowl. Also, I want this KitchenAid beater. I think this is not the KitchenAid brand, it's just like an off-brand thing, but it has like the flex edge, I think that's what they call it. So it, um, when it beats, it gets like all around the edges because with a normal KitchenAid mixer, it literally doesn't get the bottom. So you have to get a spatula and like mix it in yourself. And then you're just like, what's the point of having like a stand mixer thing? Okay, next thing is a universal lens cap. I want two of them. I think I have like a couple of lens caps, but this is universal so it can go on any lens. And especially like when I'm opening one lens and then putting this lens away, then I can just like switch the lens cap out. That would be so convenient. So I'm really excited to try those out. And then I want a, oh my God, wait. I didn't put one thing on here. Okay, I wanted that paper-like screen protector for my iPad, forgot to say that. And then I also want a second generation Apple Pencil grip. I've never had an Apple Pencil grip and I needed to make sure this one like actually connected to the iPad because the second generation has like a magnetic thing to the side of the iPad where it charges on the iPad, which is honestly the coolest thing ever. So I needed to make sure that grip was like compatible with that. And then last but not least, I want this Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in foxy brown. I was actually at Sephora the other day and I was between that color and then the Patrick Ta color, which now that I'm thinking about it, I forgot about the Patrick Ta one. And I feel like I liked that one better. I don't know. I might have to switch that one out. But yeah, that is what I want for Christmas this year. This Christmas, I got him new shoes and a coat. I feel like he always asks for new sneakers. I swear he gets new sneakers every single day, but these are apparently not for running or maybe they are for running. No, they're not for running. They're like like a casual shoe. Um, so they're, they were like the on sneakers just in black. I think he has it in white too. And then... I got him a coat that he wanted. I think that's his new obsession and more specifically waterproof coats. I don't know. I honestly love coming home during Christmas time because everything's just like decorated and at my mom and my dad's house, they do such a good job with like decorating and it just makes it feel really, really homey. It's definitely a good time of year. Me and my sister are planning on baking cookies on Christmas Eve and I don't know what else, but 
we'll find something to do very Christmas festive I feel like in the past years we haven't really been too festive but I definitely want that to change because you only get it once a year you know you got to go ham you got to do it all um unfortunately there's not like much to do this year obviously with like COVID and stuff and also I'm really really sad because I feel like Austin has so many like new Christmassy things there's like a racetrack pretty close to where we live I think and they did a whole Christmas lights thing and then obviously Mozart's and then what else um the trail of lights that's in Zilker Park is a drive through this year I'm trying to preserve my hair as long as possible I'm trying to do this like TikTok where I can see how long I can go <laughs> without washing my hair it's kind of gross but whatever it's like good for your hair if you don't wash it but I just got sent this new Briogeo deep conditioning shampoo and conditioner I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying this, but I've been using it and I really like it. This morning I woke up, I slept in my Urban Outfitters graphic tee and like some paper bag short things, like sweat shorts. And I was like, I need to get dressed so I can feel better about myself. Cause like I said, I was just not feeling that great. And of course I put on like another comfy outfit. <laughs> it's just like a sweatshirt. It's a crop sweatshirt actually from Abercrombie and Fitch. And I love it. Um, and then I have just like my Lululemon biker shorts. I've been watching YouTube, snacking on banana chips, and now I think it's time to redo my nails because they look all ratchet. I'm using this Olive and June Acetone Free Nail Polish Remover. This is what it looks like. I'm pretty sure it's sold at Target, but this shit is amazing because first of all, whenever I hear like acetone free, I just associate it with not working well, but this stuff is so good. I guess I'll do a little demo for you guys. So this fingernail has a lot of nail polish. It's going in just a few times. There's like foam in there that you kind of just rub your nail up against. And let's see if it's gone. Is it all gone? Almost. But seriously, that is like so much faster than normal. And it's acetone free, so it just doesn't ruin your nails as often. Damn it, I forgot that like last time I tried to take my gel off myself and not all of it came off. And I just left it, so there's like a bit of my French still on my nails, you see. <laughs> Last time I painted my nails light blue, so this time I feel like I'm going to go for like a nude because I did my time being fun, you know. I guess today's vlog is me like literally quarantined in this bed pretty much. <laughs> I feel like I'm not left, but... At least I'm not like feeling like complete shit like I was earlier this morning. But anyways, I went down to get dinner and my dad made like fish. And then he's also making chicken curry. So like that was just the appetizer. I don't even know. But he makes food so spicy. And my lips are burning right now. They're literally red. And this is like me with like ointment on my lips. No color at all. And I don't know if you can tell because I have like the saturation a little low. But... I'm like burning up inside. I like went outside to get a package and like the cold air just felt so good on my burning lips and mouth. But um, yeah, anyways, today is actually Bachelorette and Bachelorette is on today and tomorrow and then next week, Monday and Tuesday. And I get that they're trying to get it done before Christmas because they're already like promoing Matt James's season, but it's like a little too much. <laughs> And I just feel bad for Tasha because I feel like her whole season was just like really rushed, you know? She didn't like really get the time she like deserved to shine. And also I don't like love her season, but I was just texting with my sister that she really likes the season and she's invested in the guys. So maybe I just like don't pay much attention to the TV when it's on. Cause like when The Bachelorette's on, like I watch it, but like most of the time I'm just like on my phone. Cause I, it sometimes it just gets so boring that I, just can't look at the TV. But even though it's so boring, like I still have to watch because everyone's gonna talk about it the next day and I have to be informed, you know? I asked Ryan to come over cause I'm just bored and alone and I want him to come over and watch The Bachelorette with me. So hopefully he will come. Let's see what he says. I think he's like near me playing golf, but I don't know why he's playing golf in the dark and how that even is possible. <laughs> so many questions. Damn. He said, I don't think I'm gonna come over. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I guess it'll just be me in this vlog alone. I got some chicken curry and rice. Bachelor. Apparently, that's the Mentel All. I think I read that somewhere. 
So should be interesting. Still watching The Bachelorette. I feel like it's a never ending freaking show. It's so funny how I complain about it all the time, but I'm still here watching it. But I'm gonna take off my makeup, so I'll end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will have all the links down below for everything I talked about that's like on my Christmas list. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.